Travis Cull sings Taylor Swift's Bad Blood. While discussing Kenny Pickett's departure from the Steelers, the Chiefs' tight end used Swift's popular song to represent the feud between quarterback Kenny Pickett and the Steelers. Travis Kulse recently performed his best Taylor Swift impression when he mentioned his girlfriend's song, Bad Blood. Kulse, 34, caused a stir on social media on Wednesday after a video of him breaking into song during a new episode of New Heights with Jason and Travis Kulse surfaced. The Kansas City Chiefs tied end and his brother, Jason, 36, were talking about quarterback Kenny Pickett's rough departure from the Pittsburgh Steelers, which dealt Pickett, 25, to Jason's former team, the Philadelphia Eagles, on Friday. According to various reports, including ESPN and NFL.com, Pickett was upset by the Steelers' choice to sign quarterback Russell Wilson earlier this month. The strain apparently led to a squabble between Pickett and Pittsburgh. The tight end used the chance to refer to his girlfriend's hit song, Bad Blood, from her album 1989, to characterize the situation with Pickett. Kenny and the Steelers, their relationship ended in a little bod blood, the NFL player sung to the tune of Swift's song. When ESPN's Adam Schefter first announced Wilson's agreement with the Steelers, Travis had previously praised the decision on an episode of New Heights. A shout out to Russ, man, get a fresh start. He suggested after his brother Jason read the report. Travis continued, he had a similar situation in Seattle. Excellent defense. Get you a running game. Got Najee Harris in there to pass the ball to, and Pat Freermuth is a young tight end. The NFL star's reference to Swift's song is hardly surprising. Given that he has seen her perform the Smash song in concert several times, since the Chiefs won the 2024 Super Bowl in February. Kels and his friend Ross Travis traveled out to see Swift, while the Bad Blood singer was on her era's tour in Sydney. The party, which included Swift's tour opener Sabrina Carpenter, went to the Sydney Zoo during their trip. Kels and his friend Travis, 31, were also seen attending back-to-back -back nights of the era's tour in Singapore, where they were accompanied by the athlete's manager, Andre Eanes, and his wife, Amanda Santa. Kels's friend Harry Clark also posted a boomerang video of himself wearing an era's tour wristband on Instagram story, tagging the Singapore venue, National Stadium, as the location. The image was followed by a video of Swift performing on stage, caption Go Tay Tay. During the Singapore event, Kels was seen dancing to another of Swift's hits, Look What You Made Me Do, from her 2017 album Reputation. In video footage shared on X from the stands, the tight end smiled and swayed Swift is on a long vacation from gigs, and Kels is in the middle of the NFL offseason. So the couple recently spent some time in Los Angeles. A source recently told People that the pair is still very happy, and so cute together, as they limit their public appearances during work breaks. Taylor Swift and Travis Kels are still very happy together as they hang in LA. During ERA's tour break, Source. The Kansas City Chiefs tight end recently showed his support for Swift by attending two nights of her era's tour leg in Singapore. Taylor Swift and Travis Kels are making the most of their free time. Following the Kansas City Chiefs tight end's recent visit to the pop superstar, 34, as she played shows in Australia and Singapore in late February and early March, a source tells people that the couple is still very happy and enjoys spending time together. During Swift's break between legs of the era's tour, they are spending time in Los Angeles together, the insider tells people. They're still very happy, they're so cute together, says a source close to the couple who spent the weekend on a date night at the Bird Streets Club, and members only West Hollywood hotspot. According to the insider, the NFL player, 34, has been taking a break since the Chiefs won the Super Bowl in February. Travis has been hanging out with friends and is enjoying his time in Los Angeles, the person said. Last week, they flew back from Swift's era's tour performances in Singapore to Los Angeles, in time to attend an Oscars after party together. The two were among those those who attended Gucci's annual The Party, which took place immediately after the awards ceremony at the residence of talent manager Guy Ossery. According to a party attendee, the Grammy winner and football player spent the night on the patio and See he was protective of her, and she was delightful, and glowing they seemed very happy together and enjoying the night, the attendee told People.
Their Oscar appearance followed Swift's sold-out six-night run at Singapore National Stadium, where Kels expressed his support during the two final shows. Fans spotted the couple on a low-key date in a mall during the singer-songwriter's time off in Singapore, and on the fifth night of her tour, she gave her beau a heartfelt shout-out from the stage. While performing the Midnight's classic Karma, fan videos show her declaring, Karma is the guy on the Chiefs coming straight home to me. Kels discussed his journey in an episode of his and his brother's podcast, New Heights, with Jason and Travis Kels. I got to see two amazing shows of the year's tour, the three-time Super Bowl champion wrote. This is Taylor's last leg till she returns in a few months. But, aside from that, you should try some delicious Singaporean cuisine and enjoy the vistas. Following her gigs in Singapore, the cruel summer singer rushed to Instagram to express her thanks for completing her most recent leg of tour. We got to play six shows in Singapore to the most beautiful crowds. I just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone who traveled and made such an effort to attend our shows, she wrote in the description of a post including show photographs. What an unforgettable way to end this leg of the tour the pop queen will be busy this spring as she prepares to release her 11th studio album, The Tortured Poets Department, on April 19th. Then she'll take her era's tour to Europe. The second run of gigs begins with four concerts at Paris La Defense Arena in France on May 9th to 12th. While she'll be off in June, she'll tour the United Kingdom Poland and Austria over the summer before returning to the United States for more gigs in the fall. Taylor Swift's era's tour is coming to a living room near you following the theatrical premiere of the concert film in October 2023, the era's tour film was made available on Disney Plus on March 14, offering more extra footage from the blockbuster show. Swift's successful world tour, which began in March 2023, takes audiences on a musical trip that includes 10 albums and three hours of music. With dazzling costumes and intricate sets, Swift provides a spectacular spectacle as she performs some of her greatest singles from her famous career. Furthermore, she always has a few surprises up her sleeve, such as special guests or news about her next releases. As you relive the era's tour through the recently released concert film, take a look back at some of the best moments from the show. After a theatrical interlude referencing Taylor Swift's past 10 albums, the singer emerges from beneath the stage to play her lover's song, Miss Americana and the Heartbreak Prince. She then transitions into her hit song Cruel Summer, which causes the audience to explode in applause. Swift then addresses the enthusiastic audience, joking that they are making her feel so powerful as she flaunts and loves her biceps. As she puts on a blazer, she moves to her next song.